was a long day, so we got to the airport on time and everything. Check-in was long, but Emirates, it was an hour and 15 minutes. Um, and to be fair, the boys were quite good considering how long the queue was. It felt like it was hardly moving at times. Um, then the flight was delayed by about an hour and a half, so we spent a very long time sort of grounded on the plane, not going anywhere. Um, but the flight was actually shorter than expected, so it's supposed to be seven hours and it was just over six in the end, which is really good. Um, by the time we checked into our room and everything, and got actually into bed, it was four in the morning, so as you can imagine, we're all knackered. Um, yeah, but it was, our room is lovely, it's really nice, just really clean and modern and enough room for us. I'll show you that um, a bit later on actually. Um, and then we set our alarms for half past nine, so we got to bed about half four in the end. Set our alarms for half past nine. Um, because we're only here for a week, we want to sort of get into a routine. And yeah, just make sure we get another breakfast on time and getting into the Dubai um, like their time zone basically so that we're not we would not want to be groggy and the boys were fine so we got up at half nine went for breakfast we've been at the um like the kids park all day it's really lovely so we're staying at Ryu Dubai um me and Dan stay at Ryu's we well, have stayed at Ryu's quite often so we know that we like them um as a chain and yeah it's been really good so today we've just been chilling to have breakfast we've come to the kids park they've got I don't really want to turn my phone around and show you. I will try and show you at some point in the holiday, but where it, there's kids around, it's not really appropriate to film really. But they've got a splash park, like a big um, water park sort of thing, like a big water, like climbing frame, and then you know, like they fill up with a bucket and then the bucket goes everywhere, like those kind of things. Um, oh, and then I will turn my phone around slightly so you can just see the big slide. Um, and then we've got a kids pool. There's a kids club and a kids like little park for the kids, indoor play bit for the kids as well, and that's sort of like all in the same area. I didn't read at all on the plane for some reason. I was watching Bridget Jones, like I've watched Bridget Jones one and two. Then they turned the lights off so I could read. So I'm just doing some holiday reading. Um, I would just slightly put the phone up here so you see the splash park right in front of me. The boys aren't in it. They are in the big sort of wall park which is over there more. I'm really close to the airport. And every now and then you do get planes sort of just flying by, but it's not loud, it's not too disruptive, it doesn't take over the experience at all. We're planning to look to like the restaurants that you have to book for. There's an Italian, a Lebanese and a Indian, like an Asian restaurant. We said we're not sure that we should eat the Asian and the Lebanese food, so we're going to book the Italian restaurant. That's probably the only one we're going to book um, in the hotel, the special restaurant. And then we're going to go out into the city of Dubai, I think, one of the days. So we're going to eat out one night as well. Day two. It feels even hotter than yesterday. I only apologise for yesterday. We crashed out pretty early. And we woke up at like 10 today to the hotel fire alarm, which is a drill. And um, yeah, that was our alarm. We woke up late and missed breakfast. So I'm by the pool reading my book. I'm on page 100 now. 34, which is the same as yesterday, but um, it feels hotter today for some reason. Um, we were supposed to, we did to have a thunderstorm, but that hasn't happened. So yeah, that is all good. The time, I didn't actually bring my iWatch on holiday because I wanted to get rid of my tan from wearing my iWatch, so I thought I might as well not take it. Um, I don't know what the time is, I know it's the afternoon. As soon as the lunchtime opened at half time, we went down there and had lunch. Then we went and hunted down like the Tui rep to find out the best and cheapest. And, most convenient way to get into the Dubai city because we want to go there in a couple of days. Um, we was going to go tomorrow, but we've booked to have dinner at the Italian restaurant here. And they've only opened Tuesday, Thursday, so we thought we'd stay here so that we could eat here and have the Italian restaurant. Because when we go into the city, we'll probably eat there, so we've changed that day to Friday now. We've got to say, actually, we took the boys to the shop. We've got like a little shop here um, just with like essentials. I bought them some goggles, so like I'm taking them into the kids' pool and they're just like practicing to swim underwater and I'm being the drinks fetcher. So I go into the bar and get in the drinks um, and reading my book and yeah, it's just a lovely, lovely chill day. We stayed up really late last night and watched the entertainment. We missed the kids' disco, though the kids' disco was at 8 and we didn't get down there till about 9. So today we're going to get up to the room around 5ish, start getting ready and go straight out for dinner. Um, so then we can make it for the kids to go. I 
Okay, so I've just got in from being out all day by the pools and everything. Our room's just been cleaned. So while it's in this state, I thought I'd quickly show you. So you walk in, you have the bathroom to the left. Obviously all our stuff is here. And then we have the shower there, with a big window there. There are blinds, so you can like put it down. But yeah, you can see like straight through into the bedroom. Um, shower's there. The toilet is behind here. So this door shuts, and that could be the toilet door. And then it also goes this way and shuts. So it shuts the main door to the bathroom. So it's like a double, um, what do you call it? It's got double use anyway. So coming out, we have all this sto oh, storage in here. I just banged the handles together. Dan's got all this stuff hanging up already. Um, I'm actually gonna live out my suitcase. I don't really have stuff that needs hanging up. So yeah, and then the safe, and then oh, I can all my case, but clearly it's the Dan's side of the bed for his trainers here. And then we've got, this is our bed, that's a sofa bed. Obviously when we arrived yesterday, it was already down like that for the boys. And then there's a telly, all the standard stuff. We have this fridge, which is restocked every two days. Some random snacks in there as well that we put in there. And yeah, and then the balcony, and I'll show you our view. And this is the view. So we've got a partial sea view room. So it's like the sea's to the side, but we can still see it. I think the full view ones are the ones here that are like fully looking out. So they'd be partial as well. And then on the front, around that corner, looking out, there'd be full view as well. So we're partial view, but when you stand here in the evening to get really nice pictures. Yeah, T? You got a baby in your belly? Yeah. Oh my goodness. And you got chocolate sauce down your towel, chocolate ice cream. Okay, so I'm finally getting around to filming the lobby for you. This is if you've just walked through the front door. So we have all these seats there and the reception is over there. They have this view of the beach and all the pools, which is just amazing. That's the main restaurant there. And then they have themed restaurants. So we have, there's Dara and Spices. That's an Indian restaurant, I think. I'm not sure what that one is, because um, I know the Italian and the Lebanese is outside. Um, so yeah, I just love this view. You walk straight through. They have this in a lot of Ryu hotels, actually. Um, Ryu Cancun, they have this. You just walk straight to the back and we have a view of the beach and the pool absolutely love that over there to the left they have the pearl which is a bar and the sports bar where you can see the green screen straight through and the entertainment at night is through those doors um, all the way around outside it kind of wraps around and you go into like a big entertainment hall and over here where the bull is that's um, our Andalus Andalus sorry for my um, I'm probably not pronouncing that right. That's the main restaurant. And again, it kind of snakes around so you can eat outside if you want to. And then, um, yeah, the lobby continues down there. You can use these escalators. So I'm gonna go downstairs. And this view is just amazing. And I'm so sorry because my camera fogs up straight away as soon as we go outside. So we've got these pretty fountains over here. There's one pool over there. And if we carry on walking this way, there is a um, little towel hut where you get your towels from and another pool there and this is the walk we do every morning we take this little walk this is towards the kids pool but they also have um, two more adult pools there's one there and then one right at the back sort of over like there in that direction um, they have a swim up pool bar which is just there and then on the other side it's and um, you go they go up the stairs basically and it's just like a normal bar with seating but yeah it's so lovely it's a really well kept hotel I know it's kind of like a new hotel it's only about two and a half years old but it's still been maintained and kept really lovely and there's a sign here that just says what else we got so there's another pool up there the Lebanese restaurant which is that the moon that's the Lebanese restaurant splash park the kids pool Ryu art which is like the kids club and Ryu fit and I am turning left down here towards the kids stuff, um, which is amazing, this area. I'll probably stop filming here in case there's kids in the pool. We're going into Dubai um, city centre around lunchtime. So we're gonna have a couple of hours here and then have lunch and get ready to go there. So I'm all settled now, I'm gonna read my book. Um, I'm getting to it, I can't believe I haven't even read one book since I've been here, but yeah, there's been a lot going on. 
So with the whole going into Dubai and the whole Italian restaurant saga, so we were going to originally go into Dubai City Centre on Thursday, um, but then we booked to the Italian restaurant, it's only open Tuesdays and Thursdays, so we booked it for a Thursday and was like, right, we're going to Dubai on Friday. They've now rang us and said the Italian restaurant's going to be closed. So we've switched back to our original plan and we're going today. Today's Thursday while we're here. We're going to be here for another hour or so. Then we're going to have lunch here and go back up to the room to just freshen up, get sorted. And then we're going to go and get a taxi in. From our hotel on that, so then it takes around 20 minutes for a taxi to get there. Um, and apparently that's um, around 20 pounds English money as well. So that's not too bad, happy to pay that. We can come in to go to the mall and um, see the Burj Khalifa and the fountains as well. It's all in the same area. Um, I did also want to go to Jumeirah Beach, but we'll just see um, what the timings are like. So I've had lunch, me and Tia have finished ours. So come to the lobby, because let's go to the room, collect some stuff. And we're in the lobby now, waiting for Dan and Luca to finish so that we can jump in this taxi and um, go into Dubai. It's about 2 p.m. at the moment, and we've been waiting for them for about five hours. So we've made it to the mall, and we're at just outside the aquarium. I think Dan's trying to get a picture of them. But it's so cool. It says aquarium and underwater zoo, and you queue just around that corner. Shut down at home, so very much thriving here. Look how high it is, it is a waterfall. a little tired we've only just come outside to the pool daddy and t have gone to get some drinks we had like quite a late start we went down to breakfast like last minute just before they closed at half 10 and it's probably coming up to 11 now and we're at the pool um we went into the city yesterday didn't we we had a nice time in the city didn't we we saw the big tall building do you remember you see that tall building and you was like, that must be the tallest building in the world. And we had a picture by it. We saw the fountain show. Um, crowds were nuts. I thought it was lasted longer. It's about five minutes long. That's okay. And it was every half an hour. Every half an hour. We saw the 6pm one. And then we started to go on a taxi back to the hotel straight after that finished. What else did we do? Went to the Dubai Morgues, all in the area. Today we're going to chill by the hotel again, then we think tomorrow we might try and do Jumeirah Beach. 
and go towards what's it called? Um, Atlantis the Palm and the, the point, isn't it? That like um, so they're like a little entertainment. I think it's fairly new, not new new, but go to there. But today we're just going to chill, have another cool day. Luke is very tired. I think the sun is really tiring Luca out, isn't it, Luca? Yeah. It's really hot. Today's our hottest day we've had so far. It's 41 today. But it's, um, obviously, as you can see, it's really cloudy. The skies aren't really as blue as they've been. And there's meant to be a thunderstorm at about 12. But it has been saying that. I have said that before, and it didn't end up being a thunderstorm. So I don't know if that's actually going to happen. But, yeah, we'll see. It's our second to last day. Uh, me and Luke have had a morning at the pool. He's asked me a million questions. Do they? Talking about the things he watches on YouTube, kids. Yeah, they do have lots of crazy things on there. Yep, Luca is flagging and it's the same yesterday morning. So we're going up to the pool and up to the room to chill for a bit. And Dan and Tia, we're going to meet us up there at half 12. Then we're all going to get sorted and go for lunch and then go straight to Jumeirah Beach and Atlantis Palm for a little afternoon now i think afternoon's okay rather than making like getting there early there's no need we just need an afternoon it's more than enough time it's very hot today it's like 43 degrees and we're floor number seven come on look at this us. and we've got a really short walk from off the elevator to our room i can't remember if i said what room we are we are 7041 little view there of the beach was very nice that's the middle of the hotel <laughs> Down there? Louder. An aquarium. And we are at the Atlantis Palm. Dan and Luke, uh, Tio, Eva are just in there. The Atlantis Essentials. Well, it's an aquarium, so what do you think? Sea animals. I don't know which ones. What's scratching my face? I'm not sure where that come from, but anyway. We have had a nightmarish day. Oh my gosh, um, we'll in a bit later. So we're just here with the aquarium wall, we're just having something to eat. And um, drink and stuff. I'm just looking at this, it's so relaxing, just looking at this wall, it's really busy. I think Dan's trying to get a picture of Tio by the wall, Luca um, is here, doesn't really want a picture, it's in his own little world. Good morning, it's our last day here, I'm not going to lie, I'm so ready to come home. Um, well not so ready but I've just reached that point of the holiday where I'm like yeah I can come home now I'm not feel sad about it um very hot today I think it's over 40 degrees so um yeah kids are in the kids pool again um just chilling here we had an afternoon out yesterday into Dubai again story time well I won't go on too long about it but it was absolutely nuts like I thought I was going to pass out at one point, like it's so hard. So we got on a taxi and 
basically wanted to go to Jumeirah Beach and wanted, wanted to see Burj Al Arab. You know um, that building that looks a bit like the Spinnaker Tower in Portsmouth? Um, but we got dropped off on the complete other side and there was a lot of building work going on basically which meant you couldn't walk to it. You had to walk around and it took you like a weird way. So I was walking for a little bit then we was like no this is far too long. We're going to have to get a taxi like the kids are sweltering. So we've gone to another taxi and got dropped off at the Jumeirah Beach. And we thought oh we'll just go to Jumeirah Beach and we can get through the hotel and we'll buy a day pass. Day pass was 600 pounds, 600 dirham per adult, which I can't work out in my head how much it is, but basically it's a lot of money basically, um, hundred, like over 100 pounds per adult. Um, let alone like, with the kids as well and we thought no like there's no way we're doing that so we was like oh okay and we just walked out then we got another taxi and we got it from the hotel which their taxi system was crazy like the queues and everything we got another taxi and we got dropped off on the, the um, Burj Al Arab open beach so it's open to everybody um, only thing about it was we could see the building but there, where they're building there's like a new hotel being built and it basically blocks the view a little bit. But it's the best view that we could get without paying. So we went there, took some pictures. The boys were like miserable at this point, but I couldn't blame them. Like it was sweltering. Um, then we got another taxi from there. We wanted to go to the Palm. Uh, I did want to go to the Point. But by the time all that happened, we were so knackered, so we didn't. So we got to the um, Palm, went to the Atlantis Palm, had a little look around that hotel, which is love, really lovely. And went to like the aquarium wall, took some pictures, sat down, ate a little like some snacks, had some drinks, refreshed basically, chilled out, we were sweltering and the boys were just fed up but they really perked up when we got to that hotel. Um it was finally like shaded. Uh and that was it basically then we got in a hotel and everybody bar me, so Dan and the boys fell asleep in the taxi on the way back. And I've never been so happy to see the hotel in all my life. I pulled up to the hotel and I was just like, oh, yeah, like, just felt like home. Um, so, yeah, it was lovely. We took loads of pictures, did a lot of things. And all we need is the afternoon, though. I'm so glad. When we've been going out to the city, what we've been doing is staying here for breakfast, then going to the pool, then staying for lunch, then going up to the room and getting ready, then going out. And it's just so much better because we only need, like, a few hours. Any more than that, it's just too much for the boys. So... Yeah, it's our last day today. We're getting picked up at five in the morning because our flight's at eight in the morning, so it's four o'clock alarm. So we're not going to go probably to disco tonight. We're going to eat dinner, then we're going to come up and pack, and the boys going to chill and watch iPads while we do that. Um, and just yeah, pack away our things. I mean, I've pretty much been living out the suitcase. I know what dirty must clean, so it's not too bad. Um, but yeah, I've had a really lovely time here. Like really, really lovely. I love the hotel. I love the location. It's perfect. It's away from the hustle and bustle of everything and I think it's just been really perfect for us. Like we got in yesterday and we were like, do you know what, I really love our hotel. Like we visited the Jumeirah Beach and then the Atlantis, which are both nice, but I don't know, we just like, not because we're just because we're staying here, because we preferred this hotel. We're just like, yeah, this is lovely. Um, we'll definitely come back. So obviously things, we haven't seen everything. There are things we haven't done. So we just wanted to come back. And if we did, I think we'd come to this hotel. It's just perfect for the kids. Like the facilities are amazing. And everybody's so friendly and makes you feel so comfortable and welcoming. And it's only 10 minutes from the airport, so yeah, amazing.